Ta-da! Hello gamers, Matthew here from Grey Army Gaming in lovely Loon, Sweden. For today's A Few Simple Steps, we are going to be stripping paint from miniatures using Sprit. <clears throat> no, actually we're going to use instead a Tierrod Rod Sprit. Uh, and this is a cheap chemical that you can get at hardware stores here in Sweden such as Klaus Olsen. Um, or uh, even IKEA grocery stores. Um, it's really easy to find, cheap to get. It's only a few dollars here in Sweden. Now in a previous A Few Simple Steps video, I used the English product Dettol in order to try and strip paint from miniatures. Now that worked really well. The problem with that, however, is that in recent months, uh, Dettol has been reclassified uh, in relation to Swedish law, and now it's classified as something like a drug, which makes it really difficult to import. So it's been really hard to find Dettol. In addition to that, when I can find it, it's really, really, really expensive. So I decided to go ahead and try and experiment with this alternative. Uh, for you Swedes here, I know there's a lot of you here who have uh, figurines, who are into mini wargaming, uh, who do painting, who would like to strip miniatures. I'd like to go ahead and try the same sort of experiment with this chemical. Uh, this chemical is a lot cheaper. Uh, you can get it in almost every uh, hardware store or even uh, grocery store. Uh, it's only a few dollars as opposed to maybe 10 for the Dettol. Um, and you get uh, quite a bit of it. So let's go ahead and uh, try out uh, this chemical and see how this works with our figurines. We'll do both plastic and metal and see how it compares to Dettol. And if it works, then you Swedes, you've got a good solid alternative. So here we go, this is what we are going to be stripping today. Uh, we've got this lot of plastic Empire Archers, um, really bad sloppy paint job. I don't know if you can see it from here. I'm also curious to see how it does with the bases, to see if the bases will come off easier. Um, over here we've got uh, one plastic dwarf warrior that has a, a pretty bad paint job, and two metal ones. So we'll be able to try this out with both plastic and Let's metal. Let's go ahead and load them up here. And of course, this stuff is really cheap, so we don't have to be very sparing on it. Holy moly, safety cap. Am I, am I a child or what, what the heck? Uh, push down and turn. Oh, hold on. Whew, okay, I finally got the cap off. I mean, everything in Sweden has to be uber safe. Um, yeah, that's just Sweden for you. Okay, we got the cap off. Let's go ahead and pour this in. Like I said, we've, uh, we've got a lot here and we don't have to be sparing since it's so cheap. Um, let's pour it in and just cover them up over the top. And we'll throw that cap on in a second. Throw our lid on here. It does stink a little bit, but not as much as the Dettol. I can already sense that this is going to be a lot better to work with than Dettol as far as the smell goes. Um, we'll put that in there. And the idea now is to uh, simply let these sit. Um, let's actually let them go for two or three days and see what the result that we got uh, after two or three days. So we'll check in with you in a couple days and see how these are looking. Ah, 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 a lot easier to put the lid back on. Grr. Grumble, grumble, grumble. There we go. All right, gamers, welcome back. It is now Thursday night, which means that we have had these figurines in our mix here in our soup for the better part of six days. Now, part of the reason why I wanted to go this long was to test to see exactly how dangerous uh, this product of T-Rod is actually going to be for our plastic minis to see if it actually um, damages them or eats away at the plastic in any way. Uh, so we've had them in for six days. It's time to open them up and see how they look. All right, here we go. Let's open this up. All right, the first thing I notice already is um, compared to the Dettol, the smell of this is, is not anywhere near as overwhelming as the Dettol. So that's actually pretty nice. Um, it's a little more manageable. I don't even have any windows open when I'm doing this. But it's still important, I think, when we go ahead that we put on some gloves. Let's go ahead and put on some rubber gloves. All right, let's go ahead and pull out our first mini here. Um, this is one of the plastic minis. And um, it is the dwarf piece. Um, let's see if we can see that there. Uh, wow, that looks pretty good. The paint is pretty much coming right off. Um, I'm not even uh, 
hardly touching it and the paint is coming right off. Let's go ahead and just give it a little brush and see what happens here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, the paint is just coming right off beautifully. Uh, very nice. Even the base, uh, stuff on the base is coming off as well. Uh, wow, that looks beautiful. Let's go ahead and work a little bit more on this and show you what it looks like when we're finished up. And with just a few more uh, little brush strokes here with our toothbrush, get in the nooks and crannies, get the last little bit of paint out there. I'll give you a shot of this a little bit closer up. Here is our mini now, uh, almost completely restored to its original gray state. Uh, pretty impressive. There's no damage whatsoever to the plastic. All the detail is still intact, even after six days in the soup. So I think this is a pretty successful run here on the plastic minis. Let's go ahead and pull out one of our metal. All right, let's reach down in here and pull out uh, one of our dwarf hammerers. Um, here it is right here. Uh, it doesn't look like the paint has come off uh, as well as in the plastic initially, but let's go ahead and actually uh, apply a little bit of our toothbrush brush strokes and see what happens here. Um, not much happening actually. I'm wondering if this is a different kind of paint perhaps. Ah, this is pretty stubborn. The colors are not actually coming off very well. Um, it's a little more stubborn. Well, let's go ahead and rub here for a little bit and see what happens here after we uh, use our toothbrush for a few minutes. All right, we've done a little bit of brush work now, and um, although this model was a little bit more stubborn to begin with, um, after just a little bit of brushing with the toothbrush, we were able to get all of that paint off. Uh, so it works quite well uh, with metal as well. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, finish up uh, brushing off the rest of the models. We'll set them up and give you a final shot of how the whole batch looked after uh, we have finished them off. All right, and here's a close-up shot of the final product of the figurines that we pulled out, at least a few of them. Um, I could have spent, obviously, more time on them, getting some of the details off here, uh, uh, this base, for example. Some of the nooks and crannies have a little bit of paint left in them. Uh, a toothpick would have helped to just simply uh, pick some of that out. But all in all, you can see here, um, they are pretty much restored back to their original condition. In the end then, I really only have positive things to say about this product. As far as taking paint off of minis, it worked just as well as the Dettol, if not better. Uh, the paint came off the plastic and the metal minis brilliantly. And one thing I really liked about this product um, that I think it sets it above the Dettol is that it was a lot easier on my hands and it was a lot easier on my eyes and my uh, face. Uh, the smell was a lot more manageable than the Dettol. Uh, I did this in my kitchen without having any windows open and it was entirely okay. Whereas the Dettol I pretty much uh, will clear out an entire room. It is so overwhelming. Uh, so this was a really good product for that if you're gonna be doing some indoors stripping. Um, and for those of you who are living here in Sweden, um, you can't beat the price on this. Like I said, this is, uh, you can find this between uh, 30, maybe 35 crowns, uh, $4. Uh, here in Sweden for Dettol to get that, you're going to be spending 75, 80, 90 crowns, uh, upwards of $10 uh, for a bottle of that. And you, in fact, get a little bit more in this bottle. So uh, all in all, I would say this is a great product for you, people who are living in Sweden who want to strip off some of your minis and to um, give them another new paint job. So go ahead and try it out for yourself. Let me know how it goes. Uh, I would be curious to see if you've had similar results on different kinds of minis and different kinds of paint jobs. And with that we come to the conclusion of this a few simple steps on stripping minis with T-Rod Sprit. Thank you for joining us here today at Grey Army Gaming, where Grey can always play.